Okay, basically what we did here is uh, I went over the initial sketch on canvas with a white gesso, it's basically like a canvas primer. So that's going to leave just enough of the initial sketch. Um, just enough of that is left for me to start the underpainting. I'm just going to give the gesso just a minute to dry. Uh, it dries pretty quickly, so it's just a thin coat. And then um, we'll start the underpainting. <gasps> Crimson, hello! Okay, the stream's gonna pause. One moment. Hello? How's it going? Going good. How about you? Yeah, Demon Lizard is now out of the house, so I can rest easy. Fine, Demon Lizard. Oh. Uh, did you hear about the Demon Lizard? No. Oh, awkward! Yeah, there was a lizard in the house. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty ginormous lizard, and it was in the house like last week, and I was telling Super about it, it was like, you know, those cute little chameleons and stuff, we get those a lot here, so it's not like a big deal, but in the hallway, like, curled up in the top corner of the ceiling was this ginormous, uh, Pretty intense looking lizard. It didn't look like a cute little chameleon or anything. At first, like from a distance, I was like, what the fuck is that? Is that like a chipmunk or bat or something? Because it's just like kind of curled up hanging there. And I'm like, oh my god, this is disgusting. So <laughs> my mom's trying to like use a dustpan in a box and, and get it in the box. And she chases it, it's running down the hall, she chases it, she finally gets in the box, and she's going to go take it outside. I'm, I'm following her because I want to make sure it gets out of the house, and it had jumped out of the box and scurried away. We lost it. And this whole time, my mom's been trying to convince me that this... Uh, Rizzo, she's like, oh, they probably went out the same way it came in, and I'm like, no, Mom, I don't think it did. And sure enough, last night... Uh, it was under your bed. It ended up there, but no, it was in the bathroom. I went to go pee. Like, I was in a party chat with Swoop. I took my headset off. And, uh, maybe that's right before I joined. Anyways, so I, I flipped on the bathroom light, and it was there, just chilling on the bathroom floor. And it ran. Where did it run? It ran right into my room. <laughs> And I had it cornered, and I was like, all right, Draco, you just stay here, you watch him, you'll get, I'm gonna get the blue, and I'm gonna shoot him out. I don't care where the hell he goes right now, but it's late, and I don't want him in my room. I came back, and it was gone. Today I found it. He, he was, he was kind of trying to creep out from under my bed, and I was like, oh, God. So, uh, my mom finally got it. Good. It was pretty intense. I don't play games with stuff like that. It's all fun and games. It's all cute when it's outside in its element until it starts scurrying around my room and then it's no longer cute. At least it wasn't a squirrel. Right? Oh, no! I run into my room before. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. That is weird. And that seems like one of those things where it would be really hard to ever, ever get it. 
Ah, uh, hit my dad. I was trying to get it. <laughs> Don't trap it. Oh uh, yeah, we tapped it into a shopping bag. What? And, uh, okay. I, the reason I noticed him because um the door was like partially open, but then it opened a little bit. I'm like, what's that? So I looked down and I was out with a shadow and a long tail. Like, I'm pretty sure that's a squirrel. And at the time we had like a really tall lamp, like one of those old ones. Um, so it just it crawled off that and we turned on the light and it's just still there and we were going to try to get it it went under our bed and we have so much shit under there we just like flipped the mattress and went through every single box and we finally yeah. found it my dad took a shopping bag and a bit him <gasps> oh my god yeah, oh, clearly the squirrel wasn't happy yeah it wasn't it, my dad had to get checked to make sure he didn't have any rabies or whatever if any diseases the squirrel had it was, um, it was an interesting night. The summer, and all that. Yeah, so that, that's kind of shit. Uh, I think squirrels are super cute, but if one guy in the house, yeah, I'd be freaking out to you. Like, I was like, I can't handle this. I, was, I told my mom, I was like, if, if you can't find a way to get this lizard out, I'm throwing everything I own out the window and burning it until the lizard is no more. And so she put on a glove. And she's like, I'm, I'm so scared. At first she got like a, a shopping bag and a box, and she was like, well, I'm just so scared it's gonna jump again. So she um, she put on a glove and she just snatched that fool up and she took him outside. He's now home in his element. He should be. Over the time, um. I wasn't present at the time, but mom told me we have like um, this really huge tree in our front lawn. And a couple of years ago, we got to cut down. I was just there watching them, just to make sure they didn't do anything stupid. Because um, you know, contractors they do something stupid. Get to your house, and that's it. Like she's watching it, and uh, when the tree comes down, all she saw was a uh, it was a raccoon fall, and it died. <gasps> it landed. Yeah, it, it, it was like multiple baby raccoons, but uh, one of the babies died. Um, That's horrible. Um, yeah, so that day when I got home, like, all right, I I uh, got all the baby raccoons into a corner by the fence, and they just stood there. Well, not stood there. They laid there under a bush, and I just kept feeding them honey nut Cheerios until their mom came. Oh, I, just, like I just sat there. And when the mom came, and when she came, she was like, yeah, she she was like, um, like any other mother would just like try to scare off all foreigners, shit. Mm -hmm. and just random ass yelling. Uh, like, uh, so she picked up one by one, and then she picked up the, the baby one, and she like had it in her mouth, like. And now, we go 'Cause he's got a big pipe stand. 
Yeah, okay. Smoking bubbles. Sure. That's what it is. You ready for this weekend? Nope, I don't even want to talk about it. It's gonna piss me off. I already had a rough day. You don't want to talk what about I mean. it? This stuff. It doesn't matter. One is that's the last thing I want to talk about. Okay. Just going to paint. Be happy. I'm driving your truck in Defiance, and it's really big, and I can one-hit kill, road kill everybody. Just fine. Oh, nice. Too bad, it's only for a quest, and I gotta get rid of it afterwards. Oh, I totally rage quit The Witcher last night. It got uh, hard. I, s <laughs> I totally like screwed- any other MMO. Well, yeah, but I screwed myself because, uh, you know, I just finished up one thing, you know, like I finished up this fight or whatever, and I still had the weapons I started with because I'm still, like, newbie in the game, but I found a town nearby that had, like, a little, a little icon where I could go in and, um, you know, repair my armor and either buy or repair new weapons, so I was like, well, weapons are... Pretty, uh, pretty messed up here, so I'll, I'll go take care of that. So I go to the city, and I've been there before, and everything was cool. Of course, now I go back to the city, and it's on fire. And on going fire. in, yeah, going inside initiates, like, like a thing. And, uh, yeah, so... Sounds on fire, blacksmith is currently unavailable. And uh, next thing you know, I'm in like this boss type thing. And I'm like, okay, you know, it's, it's okay, I'll, I'll do it as soon as this is over. I'll, I'll take care of that. 
Well, there's no checkpoints and it's a wave of, like, enemies. And when I get to, like, I guess it would be, like, the second wave of enemies or whatever, uh, one of my swords breaks. It's like it's damaged, you can't use it. So I switch to my other one, and it's in not much better condition than the last one. I have very little healing items, and I just keep getting owned and restarting it. It's pretty unfortunate. And I do not want to have to go back to my older save, because... I'm um, pretty sure you can probably just keep exploring until you get to another town. So, like, the save from that point to the... Like, there's no spot in between the one that it loads me in and then the most recent save that I had prior to that. Just look, I guess. Look at the... Don't you have a map? Yeah, but, like, I'm in this, like... Like, cutscenes and... Protecting this guy, like, not letting me, you know, stop it anywhere else right now. I don't know. I think I can do with what I got if I can be just a little bit more patient and time stuff better, but combat system's so Maybe. frustrating. Right. So, let's say you don't go back to the town. What are your other options? What I'm saying is, is my save, when I get on the game right now, if I, unless I pick an old, outdated save, it's putting me at the start of that. And I can't just, like, walk away, because the guy's gonna die, and it's gonna end, and then it'll just keep restarting. Yeah, you're gonna have to go back. I think it's, is auto, it's an autosave? Or a manual? Um, I believe it's, it's auto, because, um, I haven't even hit any checkpoints. Like, I get through, like, all these little sections, and you think there's going to be a checkpoint, but, guess what, there's not. Oh, frustrating. But I got really irritated, and I just, I quit that yesterday. Need to fix um, this if you can manually save, you should, um... How many slots they give you? They should give you multiple slots, but um, you should be able to like just um save in different slots instead of just one slot. Yeah, I do. So I have two. Happens. I have two other ones, but um, they're fine enough back, but I don't really want to go back to them. I may have to though if I keep trying and I can't beat this guy. That's oh, gonna kind of take me out. You don't want to because. They're just, they're really far back, you don't want to do the work, or...? I mean, kinda, I mean, I, I don't like redoing a bunch of other stuff, like, it's stupid. I mean, if only you could do that in Wolf Among Us, you don't have to get that guy killed. Uh, can you like swoop? She just invited me. Okay. It's, um, I don't know, it's just whatever. I'll have to figure something out later. I'm just gonna, I think, try to try a little harder to beat it with what I have. A roll. No. I swear to God, I'm being fucked with by these ZTAs, dude. <laughs> I'm getting so irritated. What? what? So, this is like giant like DTA rail, light rail that goes like around the entire like, yes, area for, for Santa Clara County. Mm. And sitting, I was sitting at this light behind like fucking 30 cars and I'm like, what the mm. fuck is taking so long? Mm. So, there was a DTA that was turning, so basically it stopped our lane from going so that they can go and then the lane after that goes and then it goes back around again so it stopped us on our turn so i'm sitting there and the light turns green for two fucking seconds <laughs> so one car goes and it stops us again and another bitch comes 
way to get trolled. <laughs> I sat there at that light for legit like 15 fucking minutes because there was like three VTAs going and every time it was our turn to go, we get stopped in like two seconds so only one car goes. I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I was sitting in my car like screaming at me, fucking screaming bro. I was like, oh my god, what the fuck? Yes, a 30 minute drive turned into an hour. Okay. You actually yeah. could have got home earlier. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the way I'm in my car, I can move when I get off of work now. I'll have to sit there and wait. You got any insurance? Yeah. Well, I said it was on there on Friday. Okay. <laughs> he called on Friday and had it put on. So. Okay. <sighs> oh, look. oh my god, what the fuck, you fucking train! No one's waiting in you! <laughs> well, I was stuck at a um, railroad crossing for 15 minutes before. We didn't know why, but the rails were down, but the train never came by, so we're just sitting there, and there's like hundreds of cars just, just waiting. Like, the should I just... The train engineer was fucking with you. No, it wasn't that. Um, well... Um... I was about to get out of my car and check out. Um, if anything, I was gonna call cops. Because if it goes down, it was never a train supposed to come, they have to raise it manually. So, um, I was about to get out of my car and check. Another guy comes out and he goes by the tracks and he points. The fucking train was sitting at the station for 15 minutes. I don't know what the fuck. The schedule only lets them wait for like two minutes. Why was he there for 15 minutes? We're just sitting there. Okay. So they basically did the same thing for us. The reason why the lights stopped was because of caught the the fucking cow train or the light train. So the light rail decided to sit there at the station. I'm like, you couldn't just let us go first before you flip the fucking light on us, you fucking bastard. Mm. Well, I'm pretty sure those are automatic, so... There was, uh, yeah. this... There's this train that that's in our area. That's, like, further down, it's more towards my sister's area. It's, like, one of the longest trains, cargo trains in, like, California. Mm. You would get stuck behind that train for half an hour. Really? Because there's like a hundred something cars on that shit. You're just sitting there, like, that's why no one takes that fucking road anymore. My sister goes around the entire thing just to get around it. Because that train always comes at a certain time of a certain fucking day. And it's always before work and after work. Well, at least you have an excuse to be late to work. Yeah. Like, that's you you want to go to work? Get like, late right. every day Because of <laughs> fucking train that has like 68 to fucking 100 cars every single fucking day. Well, I mean, you could just say, you could just be purposely late and say, like, yeah, um, I took my route there always as a train, even though you never take that road. You just lie about it. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm rendering a 53 minute video and it's gonna take me seven and a half hours. Yay. Uh, wow. This is why I am switching to an Intel processor. You're running AMD? AMD is the cost eternal, that's the only thing. I didn't care about the heat, I just I just needed a better processor than the one I had. Alright, AMD. Um, I was running a um, Venom Black Edition 2, X4 mm. or 6, X4 I think. Mm. It's in my fucking my um, shed right now, and yeah, that shit got really hot. Yeah, they, they, don't, they don't care about heat. Um, well, they do now with their new process, but says processors. Now, before they didn't, they just... Want to do performance? Yeah. And 200 lots of heat is pretty bad. Okay. I can sell the processor for like 150 bucks, right? No. <laughs> and two black edition? No. Um, maybe for like 
70? Plus 100. Depends where he's out though. You give it for like, I don't know, 50 to 75. No way. Yeah. You know nothing holds his value. I'm gonna say computer stuff. Uh, yeah. Um. Especially for used parts for computers. Um, the Phantom, uh, the Phantom Two isn't that great anymore. It's more of just compute power instead of gaming. You need better shit for gaming now. But you could probably sell it for fifty to seventy-five. I have the 965, I think. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, it's only going for 100 bucks now. At new. At new. A new egg. Actually, this is sold out. It's sold out, I mean, it's sold out, or they just don't. The graphics card is no longer being sold at um, Newegg. Why is it every time I buy a graphics card from Newegg, it, it just never sells again right after? It says $90 used. You can buy sell it for $90 used. <laughs> yes, but like, I don't know, do you have the original box? Mm, I don't know, I don't think so. Do you have the heat sink that came with it? Okay, you can sell the heat sink with the with the chip. Um, you, it's gonna be a long shot without the real tail box, because you have to place the um, CPU to like a good place. The Gizzy underpainting is complete. He's drying right now. It's good. Drying. <laughs> yeah, Gizzy just took a shower. What? Hi. What? What are you talking about? Why did Why did Ink just say he has a life? Mm. I have no idea. Yeah, he messaged that to you? Yeah. No, Witcher is not here. I was hoping it wasn't coming by the time I get home. But you need to complain to them. Prime shipping? That should have already been here. And for it to not be here... Day? So, uh, okay, Prime shipping, is, they choose it for okay does um, i have another it also depends on the carrier whoever they gave it to it's up to them Ooh, to okay. not amazon i don't know why you're coming they'll do is will, um refund your shipping cost but that's it they can't speed it up it's up to yeah, ups or on fedex or dto thursday you should bitch and, and get your five dollar uh shipping <laughs> thing for your for your uh your troubles at all our credit or whatever. You type it type again if you're here. I, I saw a comment pop up, but it's not in my chat box. I don't know why. Yeah, no, no one said anything. Apparently, apparently. Oh, never mind. I won't say that. Yeah, because I just uh, I'm on stream. I'm I might leave the chat. Why won't you say soup? Puppy. Oh, pizza. I'm still so okay. painting Duke, I'm just, uh... Okay. I just finished okay. the underpainting and I'm letting it dry right now. Is in your chat? Y yeah, I... Charlie, Charlie challenge. I didn't see Duke say anything in the chat. Uh, what popped up with... With someone saying something and someone joining, so I went and checked and it said he was in here. Yeah, Duke's in here. I thought he said something. I thought he did too. I said I had a comment. No, uh, when you have a new viewer, it pops up both of them. Yeah. The viewer count increases. That's what yeah, you thought. Yeah, no bad. I thought I saw no both. Comment. Okay, it doesn't really matter. You should give Gizzy a monocle. He's got a little pipe hanging and nothing else. Monocle. Work. I have to 
fix a few places I can see. But how do we find? I'll fix it in paint. You know that Charlie Charlie challenge stuff? Yes. It's been going like all crazy on Twitter. So, mm -hmm. we were talking about it today at work. And we're like, the, it has to be the like the way the pencils bounce on the other pencil and the magnetic pulls and gravity of the Earth, right? That causes the pen to rotate. And uh, one of my other friends, one of my friends, were like, she's like really into like ghosts and stuff, so she was like, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> and I was like, I got a pencil you can use, and she was like, okay. And she went and pulled out another pencil out of her cat, her drawer, and she was trying to do it in the fucking office, but she didn't know what she was doing. Yeah, uh, we're sitting there and we're like, this is stupid, it's not moving. <laughs> and I'm like, and um, it, it was like, for like half an hour into our lunch break, like she was about to fall asleep and then she got like really excited about it. And um, yeah. after her lunch break, she was getting to need her pencil back. And I was like, I don't want that pencil back, you open a fucking demon portal with that shit. <laughs> and she was like, take it! <laughs> I'm like, fine. So like the whole day, like every time something disappeared on her desk, I was like, "This is what happens when you open a fucking portal." <laughs> uh, I don't know. You know what the origin of that of there. that of the Charlie Charlie challenges? Yeah. Everyone got shammed. I think everyone's retarded. Yep. Just trying to sell pencils, and they made up that fucking fake of a joke, and so many people believe it. Oh, can I... oh hey. It worked. Go to school. Yeah, it worked. People go to school and they're all like, oh, "Let's do this." Don't got, the fuck are you like, doing? Pencils like at all? But like, you come up with the Charlie Charlie challenge. Everyone goes by the fucking pencil. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's the fucking magnetic pull of the Earth that causes it to rotate. If only mm, pencils were magnetic. That would make sense. The, if pull, I... the pull of the um, gravity that causes the pencil to rotate. Pull of the gravity. Pull. Pull. Pull of the gravity. You know, gravity. We gravity just points down. And then it's also the friction between the two pencils that are placed on top of each other. I agree. There is no friction because it's not moving. When you're trying to balance it, yes, there is. You can just let it sit.